game at number three. It's one to one in the series. Manana Evos and Blacklist International fighting for the playoff lives here, of course. And remember, it's an endurance matchup. We could go five games, and whoever wins the series has to face off again later today, waiting for damage they, they should be able to throw out. So Turtles now up. Both teams have the level fours that they want available to them. UA and Edward just getting it. But it looks like Kanana Evo is just going to go ahead and give the first objective up. Now they are going to slow it down. Obviously, they can't engage just yet. Um, oh, Doming. The Doming, though. No, my goodness. That was perfectly executed by Haji. The game sense of this guy, knowing that the, the recall probably isn't going to be completed in time, gets a kill over the blacklist. Yep. There was nowhere Doming was going to go, honestly. He, he, his dash must have been on cooldown. He has a flicker. But the reposition... Oh, what? The, oh, my God. The return spear of destruction going in stonks. Going to be able to walk out of harm's way as well with a dash. Oh, I love this coming from Inanna. That, that's why punchback. it was premeditated. He knew that he was going to go for that. And I think Spider Miles played possum. Spider Miles played as if they were going to play defensively, but wait. Oh. Playing defensive doesn't work, especially if you have Edward going straight on your back. Now, Kazen definitely going to be in trouble. Not going to be able to use that great health. Another kill for Blacklist. They seem to be upping tempo quite a lot here. Yeah, just with a couple moves. They get themselves this lead now, this early on, and they're going to punish. Like, this Manana Evos lineup that they have, they're able to punish. They know, too, any time that Divine Judgment's available, they have to respect it. They have to be careful of it. So they're going to try to force them back a little bit further here, too. You see, once again, Edward picking up that Sea Halberd. He's got it available to deal with Spider Miles, that sustainability. So you see this building up quickly already for Blacklist. And look at that, 2,000 gold lead, what's that got for ya? Yes, there was the clap app from Doming, but Ohib here with a Starlium Scythe already. So I think with this just, just this one item, I think big team fights are abound. 100%. They can go for pickoffs immediately. He can even duel out Doming on this Moscow, right? Because of that. Yeah. 100%. And again, it's up to Doming to really just have it in this game and it's funny because three games now different battle spells right inspire to the purify to now he's got the flicker available to try to maybe even avoid getting divine judgment you know that's one of the main things he has to do so with this objective up again flicker from Haji. speaking of divine judgment lancy just has nowhere to go if haji chooses you you will go down especially with the Sui, Edward, and you at close by. There you go, 100% turtle take rate for Blacklist so far. And I'm curious, we haven't really seen much of I have to be here, he wants have to... my HP good, have Retri. He wants to press his ult. <laughs> yeah, if you just press the ult with this lineup that they have, he's fine. It's 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 devastating in the clumped up thing they're gonna be from Anonymous. Look at this top side as well. Yeah, it's a 1v3 for Edward. Let's see if he can walk on out there, but no, it's Praetor's Wrath, make sure that is not gonna be possible. But it will be traded on the bottom at least for Blacklist, so at least one for one. It's kind of what they have to do, right, from an Anonymous. So it's like, we have to focus down, kind of bully Edward if he's left to his own. Because really, when we're talking about these team fights, it's tough. And, you know, dealing with that, it's it's a question of how fast can Manana scale with this lineup that they have. Doming obviously going to need a little time. They will get this turret in the top side down. We know that Lancey with this Novaria also has to build up and scale up. So... Again, it's it's more so just dealing with the timer here. Vision's going to be available to them. They're going to hold down to this tier one the best they can. But look at that, Sensui just driving them off. See, he's just, I'm just here, guys. I'm yep. here. I'm here. More than the question of how fast Minana can scale up, it's also a question of how can they even do that? Because Blacklist, again, they are a kill squad lineup. They just send two or three dudes to any target from Minana Evos, and they can usually secure that. How do you farm up? How do you give? doming the space if you're always the threatened of, of getting picked off so now minana evos much like in game two i think they thought they could go for the same tempo but blacklist with this kaja says no sir not like that fool me once shame yeah. on you fool me twice shame on me and now with this 3k gold lead i'll call it now 100 percent turtle take rate minana are just looking at the late game now yeah, especially now the case can't even go near with fear of a divine yeah. judgment and that's the the presence, I would say, of any Kaja that is picked up. 
flicker or not, as long as Divine Judgment is there, and Manana Evos has to deal with it. And it's something that, really, when you approach the game, you don't want to be caught out with this lineup that they have. And even bottom side, look at this dome. Oh, oh, Edward. Oh, no. oh, no. Edward, he's on the hunt here. He but of course, it. that's another three members that Minana has to use. Make that four to yes. take care of Edward. But Edward just surviving those crucial seconds while the rest of the team is up on top. Abun Jing Jing died for this turret and it's worth it because he took the attention and the focus of five members of Minana to get there. That's twice now, right? It's, it was Edward's life for a turret. Yep. And that's exact those minor those minor plays, those minor sacrifices that they make is what's opening up the map for them to work around with. And still, Blacklist International, they got themselves nearly a 3k gold lead to work with and multiple turrets. So their position for this Lord, when it does come up in about a minute, is exactly where they want to be with the lineup. Now, you did see Kazin. He picked up the Radiant Armor. We'll see exactly how the items are falling into place here. There it is. Uh, you're also looking at a, a photo from Spider Miles. Abun Jing Jing here rocking the Hunter Strike and that... See oh. Albert? Oh, no. One, oh, again, again! Again, oh. the Hunter's oh. on, and now it's going to be Edward who's being oh. hunted down with a follow-up kill coming in from Lancey. Mission successful here for Minana. I gotta say, that was clean. Could get a push happening here. Third time's a charm, look yep. at that. Oheb off camera. Kill one, gets what he needed. It's Edward again, though, for an exchange for an objective. And that keeps happening. So, Minana Yavos, they're showing some signs of fight and hope in this to deal with the lead that there would have to, there would have to be shenanigans involved. Yeah. Right? Shenanigans. It would have to be a late entry doming. Uh, and then again, you, you, you're risking the fact of the Lord jumping you again. Okay. And there would have to be a deep, deep, deep back line uh, penalty zone. And so, obviously Sensui banking on everyone to collapse so he can get the perfect curse of blood that's from right. Carmilla. And he doesn't even want all of them. He wants oh, like three sorry. or four, two or three minimum. And that's damage done already. And we're going to see if that's going to happen here. As we do see everyone just making sure there is space in between everyone. Uh oh Going on the other side of the map though and now the collapse is happening for Blacklist. This time around there is just no way for them to fight. Sensui secure Whoa, whoa, that whoa, as well. This is being run down here by Doming. And now, Edward alongside Sensui. The crowd knows what's about to happen here. He's got a flicker. It's a question of who goes first. Oh. Who pulls the trigger? Sensui with the backup here. And that's just, I don't know how to deal with that. If you were Doming, you would just, oh my goodness, fight oh. with Haji as well. Flicker already used up. Doming tried his death to stay alive, but it's a no go. Oh man, Doming. He didn't have a choice. An XP laner? A roamer doing that? Hell, maybe a stretch? A jungler? It's in here though. Finally, a fight being committed by Minana, or at least, you know, figured out here by Casey. I don't know if they really want to fight this or not. Maybe they're trying to gauge whether or not they can actually take Sensui right now on this Carmilla. And you know what? The signal's been given. This okay. Carmilla is way too tough. You want me to drop some nuggets of uh, wisdom on y'all? Drop the nuggets drop of knowledge. It. Dropping. You know who protects Doming best? Who? Doming. Doming protects Doming best. His positioning is going to be key in these big engagements. And if by some chance he dodges uh, the Curse of Blood oh, AoE, no. then it's fine. Kirk's down. Down goes the penalty zone. And Kirk, I think he's already done Goes in. But here it comes Doming. He disappeared. This, oh, where did he go? He disappeared. What? Doming's gone. I need a replay of that. I swear that I need the slow mo because he, they the moment him. he landed, they popped him. He, he popped like a pimple. He didn't protect himself, Leo. <laughs> He's somewhere in the astral zone. He's somewhere out there. Oh my goodness. You know, I just, I, at that point, I was like, all right, he kind of has to go in. He's coming in. Where but then he, he was gone. Yeah, because again, I told y'all, the best person to protect Doming is Doming. <laughs> so he didn't do it that him. time. He didn't do it that time. I jinxed it. What you meant is don't click the spear. <laughs> yes. And I guess... In the middle of a fight. Yeah. There, there, there was some level of frustration there. I mean, I was like, you know what? We need to deal the damage. It's now or never. And now they're... They're staring down the barrel of a loaded gun. Blacklist might just end it here now. This is going to be tough for Manana Ibos once again. Dealing with the Lord. 
will be able to make quick work of it, but now the next wave is going to be pushing in here. Oh. Blacklist wants these next two turrets. Okay. Jason goes in. Yep. Oh. Ahead. This time around with the HP bars getting oh. demolished. This time around by Kazen. And now the fight is being given to them by Minana, who seems so confident now. Up on front is Kirk, obviously doing the work. Wow. Zui, not even lasting a few seconds in the front of his spear. Oh, have also, just as quickly as Domingue disappeared, got clapped by a single appraiser's wrath. Bang, bang. Whew. Manana Evo striking back. Just when we thought Domingue got deleted. Quickly, the gold lead and the space advantage that Blacklist had is now getting deleted across the map as they make their way down the mid lane here. A couple shots happening, but now Evos wants more. They can get turned around so quickly. Haji all alone. Same with Edward. Can't even survive the onslaught of spears being thrown down by Domingue this time around. That was a tasty DPZ, a delayed penalty zone. You saw how Kirk was actually holding the ult and yeah. waiting for the tail end of the dash on Edward until he dropped it and killed him. Amazing read. Again, the game IQ on this young man, Kirk, who is a pseudo-rookie from Inanna Evos. Previously played for RSGPH, didn't really see much field action. And now he's where he belongs. And he's what? A head fair dance. I would say this is a 50-50 Lord Dance. This is a good contest. For sure. 50-50 here. Both junglers have any immortalities available too. Will Doming and save himself? Doming, yeah, again, going back to it. And look at Haji's positioning, waiting to use that flicker, Divine Judgment. Kazen, gonna be the focus though. That's so far back. Down goes to Zalan Force. And Minana seemed to be quite willing to take it. They're taking down some bodies here. Kazen, immortality already Edward. popped here. And the flicker committed, making sure that Minana does not have the retribution. It seems like Blacklist just wanted the Lord of, after all. All right, that's a little bit of too much protection from Doming. He's literally skedaddled out of there. Oh, wait. Wait. Protect yourself, Doming. <laughs> pull the trigger. Yep. <laughs> there he, you go. He overprotected himself. <laughs> he... he uh, excised himself from the team fight. <laughs> and I think that's what Blacklist read. They read the map so well and said, you know what? We saw Doming down bottom, collapse. Very important now, as they get ready for this next assault. Manani was finds themselves on the defense. They still, once again, have great clear with this Moscom and the rest of the lineup here. Kazen will come up for this defense. But this time around, expect Haji. Doesn't have the flicker, but he's got the Divine Judgment available. We'll see if they can hold on to this game any longer. The turrets are going to be taken out already. All right, Lloyd switched up on top. We're still looking for who Haji chooses as the divine judgment oh. target. Down goes the spear destiny. Can't be used anymore, maybe on a split. Here comes the sound force for Ohab. Down goes Wow. Oh. Good damage. Oh. But look at the eternal guard. Instant punch back coming in from Blacklist. Man, again. Bonani was going to hold on. And they hold on to one turret. Woo. And they're able to do that at the at the cost of just Kirk. Folks, well, let me remind you, there was a Lord inside the base. And Minan Evos had to both fight that fight, protect their base, and keep themselves safe. Oh, they might lose it here. Uh oh. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see, though, as the turret does go down. Their base. Domic dashed in already. I think that is the signal for Blackness to go here. Is it? Eternal Guard once more into the right target. Two down, and the base all alone, but minions are nowhere to be found. Domic take it out. They're going to bob and weave. They're bobbing and weaving. Spire Miles buy some time here to get that minion back on track. But OF takes him down as well. And all the minion bodies exploding because of the Vixana passive here. It does seem like the minions are going to be here in time. And another Zaman Force on the floor. Hurt with a last minute penalty zone to try to clear that way. That is Blacklist on top two to one. The Champions Arena. 